right, this is lesson 28, example number one. Uh, so if you look at this, you might recognize it's the same uh, example as 1A from lesson 27. Uh, so we're going to be using a different method, and then we have an additional uh, thing to calculate uh, beyond what we did in lesson 27. Uh, so we have a red oak beam with a uh, given modulus of elasticity of 1.75 times 10 to the 6th. Uh, PSI. Uh, we're given the uh, cross section um, of the beam as 10 inches tall and 2 inches wide. So again, just like in lesson 27, uh, we'll have the moment of inertia is still 166.67 uh, inches to the fourth. So we're a pretty good place to start. And it asks us to calculate the maximum moment, the maximum bending stress, stress and the maximum deflection for the beam. So what we did previously was we figured out the reaction forces and then we drew the shear diagram and then we drew the moment diagram and we were able to use that to get the maximum moment and the bending stress. However, this time we're going to use what are called the NDS beam formulas. All right, so uh, if you look at the slide after uh, this example problem, it'll have pulled uh, the exact one you need. Uh, you can also pull up the PDF separately. Uh, it's figure one for a simply supported beam with a uniform distributed load. So if we just look uh, at the equations given in that figure one, it tells us the maximum moment that's at the center of the beam, so it even tells you where it's going to occur, is equal to WL squared over 8. Well, what's W and what's L? Well, if we look at our figure one diagram, which looks something like this, it gives you the beam, it gives you R and R, and then it draws the distributed load and tells you the distributed load is W, L, and the whole thing is length L, right? So if we want to use this formula, we have to figure out what things in our picture match up with the uh, variables that are used in the diagram, right? So our 25 feet is the length of the beam, right? So I'm going to go ahead and convert that to inches because all of our cross sections are in inches. If you continue to use different units for different things in this, you're going to end up with a lot of unit conversions later. Uh, they're going to get pretty ugly. So 25 feet times 12 inches per foot is 300 inches. Okay, so we have the length. Uh, that gives us one of those variables that we need. And the other one, this little W uh, right there, that is just the distributed load uh, number. So 1,000 pounds per foot, right? And again, uh, going ahead and changing everything to inches, 1,000 pounds per foot times one foot per 12 inches, right, gives us 83.3 uh, pounds per inch. Okay, so we can go ahead and plug in 83.3 pounds per inch times 300 inches squared all over eight. And that gives us that the max moment is equal to uh, 937,500 inch pounds. Okay, so if we go ahead and check lesson 27, that's the same number that we got for the max moment uh, using our previous method of shear diagram, moment diagram, everything else. So that's good. Uh, so next we can go ahead and calculate uh, the bending stress. So bending stress is moment uh, max times C over I. Uh, so no new equation for this. This is just the same as it was uh, in the previous lecture. So the max moment, 937,500 inch pounds times C, the maximum distance to the top of our beam from the center, right? So that's going to just be five inches. 
and then divided by the moment of inertia, 166.67 inches to the fourth, gives us a bending stress of 28,124 PSI. All right, and then the last one we need is the deflection. Uh, deflection is going to be uh, the symbol capital delta. So if we go ahead and look back at figure one again, it tells us delta max at the center is equal to 5WL to the fourth over 384 times the modulus of elasticity times the moment of inertia. Right, so we have all of those things. So we can go ahead and plug in. Uh, we have 5W is our 83.3 pounds per inch. L is our 300 inches, and that's to the fourth power. And then on the bottom, we have 384. Our modulus of elasticity is 1.75 times 10 to the sixth PSI. And then our moment of inertia is 166.67 inches to the fourth. So we go ahead, we plug all this in, and we get that the deflection is equal to 30.1 inches. And that's it. So this, uh, this example is just an example to get you used to using the NDS equations and how, what, how to calculate deflection. Uh, the next example is where we're going to jump into superposition. So that's all we needed to do for this one. We calculated the maximum moment, we calculated the bending stress, and we calculated the deflection. All right.